Hi guys, it's Chelsea. I'm back on YouTube again. I know it's been forever, but um, we had some problems. First of all, I lost my laptop, but I found it, luckily, so I couldn't get it anything which wasn't very helpful. And it's starting to rain right now. Today, I was thinking of doing a natural makeup look. Um, because I, don't, I can't really remember the last makeup looks I've done, but I feel like they weren't very natural at all. Um, subscribe for more videos like this and like if you do enjoy this video and comment down below what other videos you'd like to see from me because I'm trying to get back into YouTube believe it or not. So we start off with primer. This is the poreless primer from Tarte, the mini one because I'm very poor. <laughs> And we just put a little bit on figure, like that. <laughs> then I usually just um, apply it where I have a lot of pores, like here. Well, that's kind of dumb because my type is covered in pores, but you know, my most open one. Okay, next we use. Foundation. I'm using the Too Faced Peach Perfect and some Ox Studio, aka Kmart brand, <laughs> blemish control. We apply foundation and more foundation, and then apply to face. Okay, that's foundation done. Next, I have this powder from Posty. It's from Clean Color, by the way. And I'm just taking this ginormous fluffy brush and my pretty much nearly completely used translucent powder. And I just dab that all over my face to give me a nice matte finish because I have oily skin. Though it's not very oily anymore, which is pretty weird. I think it's because I've started moisturizing more. Next I'm going to take this nice angled brush here and the best contour of all time. This is the Tarte Park of Princess and it's amazing. I think it's because they make it like a clay formula. Glides on like magic. Look at that beauty. I just like to apply it here and a little bit up here and then drop my contour on the ground. <laughs> I don't want to overdo it because this is supposed to be a natural makeup look. And I tend to overdo contouring. There we go. Um, next, I'm going to take a concealer brush, and I need it right now. And my bronzer again. And I'm just going to line out where I want to apply the contour to my nose. And then drop it on the ground again, of course. And then I'm just look. I am taking. Oi. 
shit, I just almost burnt my concealer brush because I dropped it in a candle. Very smart of me. Next I'm taking this uncolored blending brush and I'm just going to blend it in to make it a little bit more seamless looking so that it doesn't look too smoke. Yeah, too straightened. Messing my hairs. I recently bleached my hair, but I wanted to do it not as light as the rest of my hair to kind of make a transition color. But um, it turned out very gingery, and I did not like it at all. If you're if you're weirded out by this weird color on my head, I don't blame you. Eh? <laughs> it's very annoying. Next, I'm taking this. Milani baked blush, which you can't even see the label anymore because it's been used so much. And I'm taking this nice angle brush again. I'm putting some blush on, so I just sweep, sweep, and then I just blob it all over there. And this just gives you a nice, vibrant, glowy look. And I love that on my nose too. Next, I'm taking. Hampton's Weekend of Palette from Pot. I didn't forget the name, I was just deciding whether I wanted to change the name. I'm taking Beach Getaway, this beautiful highlight at the top. I'm taking this brush here, it's like a highlighting brush. <laughs> and then just apply it up here. Golden Green. I absolutely love this eyeliner. It has the most beautiful gold shimmer. I feel like it could be more pigmented, but other than that, it really adds a nice glow. Especially for a natural. Everything really because I just love highlights. Who doesn't love a good shiny nose? <laughs> and then on the bottom of the chin here. Okay, next I am going to deal with these eyebrows because they're looking scary. I don't really do much to them to be honest. I just brush them up. I haven't even been trimming them lately because I really can't be bothered. I reckon just let them grow natural. They look quite interesting this way anyway. Smoothen it out. And then <sighs> I really hope you can't hear those people in the back. Very annoying, very loud. And I'm taking this clean cover eyebrow palette, which has also been used much, in the dark shade. I'm just going to use that to fill in my brow. I 
I don't always do my eyebrows. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Because I don't really need to be folding. They do look pretty cool when they fold in. And because my eyebrows are so full, full, I usually don't even bother with like dark pencils or anything. I just use powder because it works for me. But if powder doesn't work for you, try brow pomade or brow pencils because they also work for hair on. At least the rain stopped. They start taking this nice waxy and weird stuff. And I'm brushing them up just to try and, you know, keep them up. have much concealer left because it's tiny <laughs> but I'm going to try to apply a little bit under my eyebrow. This is the shade of light beige if you wanted to know. And it's the dark shade too concealer. And it works amazingly. I'm running out of a lot of things to be honest. Hopefully it came out open soon so I can go get me some more sticking powder. It's so annoying this coronavirus thing. I'm taking my setting powder and I'm just going to sit my eyes. And before I do my eyes, I'm going to use my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea 4 in 1 Sitting Mist. This actually came faulty, like it leaks. So I have to keep it standing up. There's a bird on my roof. You can see its feet. This is a crazy one. Ah, <sighs> I just love the smell of this. It's so refreshing. So I'm just gonna take this. Take this one. Using the Tartius Protego from Tarte. And I'm gonna start with the shade Drive. And I'm just gonna use that around the crease and just gently blend it out. taking Stylin, the dark shade, and I'm going to use that into the crease. I'm going to take a blender just to make it a little bit faster to blend in the a little bit more. 
now that looks nice and I'm gonna take the styling again and use that under this nice light gold shade here. I'm just gonna apply it with my finger. And that looks so good. Why do I keep all these pretty things? I'm just gonna blend a bit of styling into the and there we go. Now I'm gonna do the next eye. Okay, my camera keeps turning itself off because it's very annoying, but yeah, I'm gonna carry the mascara. <laughs> I literally just did the same thing on the other eye. Come oh, on, it looks nice anyway. <laughs> nice Kmart lip balm. And then I'm taking the Sugar Rush from Tarte um, Lip Set Vegan Lip Oil. And it smells amazing. <laughs> and it applies like magic and it's literally amazing. I would wear this every day, but it's a small thing, so yeah. Because it's so small, obviously I can't use the everyday eyes all the time. So I but I love this look. <laughs> and then I'm taking my magical mist again. Mm. Oh, it smells so good, I'm telling you. And that's about it. So now you have natural makeup that you can pretty much wear anywhere and it looks nice uh yes my hair is short i keep cutting it for some reason <laughs> and um yeah it's nice and natural browns and golds nudes just super simple you can wear this wherever you want work probably work to school if you're lucky <laughs> Um, you can just wear it for a daily makeup look. It's super simple, super comfortable and light. I just love this look. And uh, that's it for the video guys. Uh, subscribe for more amazing makeup tutorials and other videos as well. I do like clothing hauls and stuff. I've got another one to film. I don't know if I'll do it today. I might. And yeah, like this video if you did. Comment down below any other videos you'd like me to film. And yeah, sorry for not filming forever. <laughs>